Hello everyone, welcome to my new special tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a great new Power BI feature. I will create a Power BI report connected to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central and show it live on Microsoft PowerPoint. I really love this feature. My name is Mohamed Barada and I'm here to help you bring your data to life using Power BI's powerful data visualization tools and PowerPoint. So in the beginning, you need to have access to business center or at least to have any ERP solution it can be done with any ERP solution so let's start by opening power bi in the beginning so i'm gonna open a new power bi so and we have to get data directly from dynamics 5 business center so how we do that let's click on get data click on more so here we put dynamics so we have the business central so connect here, you have usually to put your URL of your OData and username password because I have done already the connection. So it directly give you the production. So as you can see, it's straightforward. So here in the production, you can select which company you want to get data from. And the web services, it shows you here all the pages and queries and report that are published and can be showed that this is published in the web service list. So what I have to add here for me is the customer list. So I click on the customer list. I can click on transform if I want to change any of the data or I can click load. So I have immediately the data loaded to my system. You see now it will be loaded, take a few seconds. So that is very easy to be done. So I loaded the customer list. So as you can see, it is straightforward process. Once connected, you can access all your Dynamics 65 data directly from the Microsoft Power BI. I have this customer list. It will be nice if I can change the page and put here page name and put customer analysis, let's say. Okay, the meaningful. So now that we are connected, let's select the customer list. And uh, so you see, you see the loaded. So what I have to do, I will add visuals. So two tables, first showing the customer number. So let me add the first table. So this is the table here that I'm going to add. So what I have to do, I can select the customer number and I need to add the country. region and let me also bring the resolution up okay so i add the country region and i will also add the salesperson okay and i will add the sales lcy and the payment lcy and the balance lcy so this is my first table Okay, and the second table that I'm going to add, I can always copy paste this, click Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You see it immediately create for me the, the another. So here, what I have to do, I will bring it here. I will, I will replace the number of the customer and put in place the sales here. So I will put here, we, I have the salesperson code only. Okay, so I have it here, only the salesperson. I can see it by salesperson, the country region, so I don't need the country region. So the, I have here the salesperson and the sales amount, payment and balance. And here I have, I will bring back the number and the country region here okay so i have one table here so and it's showing the salesperson and i have another one that shows me the data by customer i will add also uh, uh, maybe i can add two three 
cards here I will add the first card here let me add the the count of customer number for example so it will be not the first one so I will change here put the count distinct so I have here the count of customers okay so I can add another card and here it will be the total balance amount if you want so here we'll put on the sum of balance so we've put total balance amount and we can add also another one total sales amount so let me add another card so here i put the sales and i will call it total sales amount yes as it is very easy i need to add maybe i can also bring one chart so let me copy paste this one i will keep this list here and this one i will change it this the second one let me remove all the filters so here i will uh, let me remove the filters so here when i select this one i will make it the the clustered here column chart okay and i will consider the customer name here so i will show the customer name and i will put the sales i need to see the sales amount near to it i will see here the the payment amount and i see the after it the balance you see this is live i like this i can always filter on this visual you see here i have filters visual i can ask the the, uh, the the filter to show me only the top five let's say so top here i select the top five and what how i i consider top five i will consider them based on the sales amount so i put here the data sales amount so you see it will show me the top five so i have now a very nice reports in front of me now adding slicers and filters so uh, once uh, one of the powerful features of power bi is the ability to add slicers and filters to your report this allows you to drill down into your data and view it from different angles so i will add filter of the page so i have something called filter on this page so here i will put the number okay so i can filter on this page the name so if i want a select special filter for this it will apply on all the page okay so uh, if i decide to select for example here only the customer 1000 so it'll show me all the data you see is linked to this because it's filter all the page i can also this is the page from one side and i will add now uh, two slicer slicers is is near to the the card we have here slicers so i like this features is one of my best so the first slicer i will put inside to it the counter region okay so you see here i can see the counter region that are that have data so that's purpose of the slicer this one is for counter region and i, I will add another slicer for salesperson so this slicer will affect so i have the salesperson here so i have the slicer that I, so you see here when i select for example show me joe it show me all the data that is related to the uh, salesperson joe i can always remove the filter so you see i can also select the country france or labor so it show me all the customer everything related to france i can remove this so you see i have very nice reports with uh, slicer and filters now showing the report in a powerpoint slideshow that's this the most important feature that i want to show you today so the, the latest updates of power bi you can now show the whole reports or any specific visuals in a slide or PowerPoint slideshow. This is great for presentation as it allows you to interact with your data live. So first, as we have to do, we have to save. No, I need to bring back here. I have to save this report. So I click on save 
I will put it on my so I will put it here I will consider here a new sales report for YouTube video okay I will click save I need to make sure that I have I'm connected to the internet because I need to uh, now to publish so I save this I need to make sure that I I save this already okay so I saved it new sales report for no so I will publish so you have to publish it to your you can publish it to your workspace or you can create a new workspace but i will uh, publish it to my workspace i called it new sales report for youtube video so i will select here my workspace so it is publishing i can open this so i click on open so it takes me directly to the power bi services so in order to be able to do this you need to have the uh, Power BI Pro license, or you can also try the, the, the trial. So now that you have published all what you have to do, you can click on share, you can and click on PowerPoint. So you can now, it is creating a shareable, you can copy this and paste it in PowerPoint, or you can open it in PowerPoint. So allow this to open Power BI. You will see this amazing feature that I really liked in PowerPoint slides. So it open Power BI slides and one new slide, and it it sign in into Power BI. It might ask you for credential. You need to to add to the credentials, the username, password that you use for Power BI. But it is really amazing. So you will see that immediately the the slides, the reports is inside your slide and it is connected and it can show you live data. I love it. So let me uh, just wait and make sure that I have I'm connected. Yes, to the internet. So in case you you copied the link, you could always click on add-ins select power powerpoint and it will add a new uh, here link to your powerpoint so in case you faced any delay on something you can always uh, click back if you want you see it's asking for sign in maybe it was so uh, uh, as i said that you can you could also copy the link so when you click here on powerpoint you can copy the link here and you could come here and click on add ends see but now it is added so i have my reports immediately on my slideshow amazing it's live data you see here and what is nice i can also ask powerpoints to refresh my slideshow every 15 seconds the minimum so and when you click on show on the run and you see the show you have the powerpoint link to power bi you can use the slicer here you can click friends so you see the, the, the dashboards in front of you show you the data of friends or you can select for example the salesperson joe wow so you have all the features that you want you can select here, even if you filter that added, the customer number, customer name. So there it is here, and it is refreshing every 15 seconds. So let's see, let's go to the power, to the uh, Dynamics is five is the center. I'm going to add, you see here, I have 14 customers. So I'm gonna add a new customer, just to make something quick. Okay, so uh, I have, I'm, I'm going to click on you. I select customer. I will put 
me on YouTube. So this is new customer. So now the customer, there are 15. In order to affect this, uh, you need to this, uh, the, the semantic model of this uh, report has to be refreshed. You could uh, schedule it to refresh automatically, or you can always go also, you can force this. So you will see that in your workspace, where you have created, I created called something new says report for YouTube. You have this report and you have this, what we call semantic model. So you click on refresh. That will refresh the, the, the connection, the data on the report automatically. So you will see that automatically the PowerPoint after a few seconds. Now, because it was refreshed, it showed me. Even if I'm presenting, there is something that was updated on live on your data. So it will be updated automatically on the slides. I really love this. This is amazing i hope that this is it showed really the power bi and uh, which is a powerful tool that can help you gain insights from your dynamics five in central data and show it in powerpoint as live data so if you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel thanks much for watching